Good morning, folks. It is just after 5 a.m. Eastern Time, and we're coming to you a little early and live because it's our last couple hours in Canada. We wanted to get this done quickly and head out to the border. All right, so looking at the United States, we've got the... Um, We've got the northern flow right here coming all the way up into Canada. And so if you live in this area, check your local forecast this morning. It could be a bit of a rough one. I'm going to go back and take a look at the typhoon. It's basically right next to the Philippines. You can see Matt Mo right there. The shot of the day, this actually comes out of New Mexico. These are beautiful red sprites. Uh, if you'd like to know a little more about sprites, it is spelled just like the soft drink, and uh, I've got a bunch of videos on them, and you can just easily do an internet search. Top earthquakes of the day were a 5.5 in New Zealand, 6.0 in Tonga, and then one where we don't usually get as many big earthquakes, a 6.0 on the Owen Fracture Zone. And what's interesting is this happened right around 1400 UTC yesterday, Right at the same time, we had one of those out-of-nowhere anomalous proton spikes on the ACE solar wind. The star was absolutely quiet yesterday. Sunspots are developing a bit down south, except we are not very nicely spread on the magnetics. We have positive out front, negative trailing in the back. In terms of what the star is actually doing, over here you can see 193 angstroms. No real eruptions, and over here on the right, you can see 304 angstroms. Nice little filament destabilizing, some likely releasing as a CME, but doing so well away from our planet. Last but not least, folks, we have our magnetic connections to the star here. This is Earth. That's Mars. The dotted line here shows that Mercury is around the backside, and the same there for Venus. Last but not least... This incoming coronal hole pretty much on the equator is of about moderate power. That's this little dark opening you see right there. Uh, we'll be back in the States in a little bit, hopefully get some updates. Canada has been wonderful to us. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Be safe, everyone.